well 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 welcome everybody back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome hello i hope you guys enjoy your time here my name is erin as you guys know i love to do all things fiber art related crochet knitting rug tufting Today is no different because I'm coming at you guys hard with some more crochet and knitting inspiration. Now, I was scrolling through Etsy as, you know, as I traditionally do, and I realized I had a ton of different projects that were saved in my little save section that I thought you guys would get a huge kick out of. So I thought today I would bring you guys about 20 different crochet and knitting pattern inspiration ideas. Honestly, these don't follow any sort of theme. Some of these are home decor. Some of these are like little stuffed goodies. And then the rest of these are of course clothing. So it's going to take a little bit of a dive into my saved Etsy projects. Before we do dive into it though, please go subscribe to this channel. I mean, you might as well do it. I'll give you a second. Okay, you guys got it, we're done. Let's, let's go ahead and dive into it. Also, before I show you guys my saved projects, I just wanna make a quick announcement and let you guys know my crochet in bloom top pattern is officially released it's out on the market so if you guys are looking to start a really fun simple kind of simple crochet project the flower sweater is done and it's out so feel free to check it out i'll leave my links for everything down below i have a ribbler a ravelry check her out she's got really fun little like 3d bobble flower stitches but you know she's very meshy very meshy and very lightweight and breathable so it's perfect for spring, let's get into the crochet knitting inspiration. Category number one, it's kind of like home decor and wall art. The first thing that I stumbled across was this like crochet tapestry, crochet hanging wall art. And I love this idea of a moth or a butterfly. These projects I think would be very, very simple. To me, the hardest part would be just all of the different color changes. So whether you guys choose to carry the yarn throughout your project or you're physically cutting the yarn, and switching out your colors. That's gonna be the only difficulty with these kind of projects, but these are gorgeous. I don't know what it is about like moth and moth tattoos, moth art. I feel like they're kind of universal. Anybody could have these hanging up. You don't have to have like an obsession with them. They're just artistic and they're beautiful and they do add color to your home. So if you guys are just starting out with crochet and you're coming to my channel, this would be a really great option. And going along with the wall art and the wall tapestry, here is another crochet tapestry piece. I really love the all-seeing eye design. I like that they also added in the teardrops. I don't know why. You got the rose in the back and then some leaves on the outer edge. So it really takes a very simple design and knocks it up like several layers. Again, they used very neutral colors. So if you just want something to kind of blend into your home, nothing too crazy. I really like that kind of pixel art graph design. A really cool thing that you guys could also do with the tapestry designs, if you don't want them to be tapestry and up on your wall, is you could create the graph that they have sent you that you've purchased, and then you could crochet like a sweater out of it or a blanket. So think about taking that original design and making several of them or make that original square and then add on sleeves and a neckline. There's so many things that you can do with such a basic design. You can pretty much turn it into anything that you're looking for. Already seeing these wall art, I kind of want to make like a graph design using maybe some tarot cards. I think that'd be really funky, really interesting. And again, I'd probably only use like black and white. I know I have a ton of Emigurumi fans here on the channel. A lot of subs out there love little stuffed toys and little plushies and this next idea is just for you guys. I stumbled upon this balloon dog stuffed amigurumi toy by Gloria B. I think this was over on Ravelry. I feel like having this fake balloon stuffed dog up on your shelf as like a little decor piece would be so stunning. I guarantee you everybody who comes into your home is going to stop and look again this looks pretty beginner friendly to me so i would highly suggest this go check it out i'll have links for everything down below in the description if you guys are interested but it's so stinking cute i think it would also be really fun to make this project but use a variegated yarn or a self-stripping yarn this would also be a really great scrap <laughs> This would also be a really great scrap yarn project. It looks relatively small enough, but it's also holding its shape. So again, it's just something that can like sit on your desk or sit on your bookshelf. It's gonna draw a lot of attention. I'm a fan of this one. Y'all know I've been so obsessed with crochet pillows. A bunch of different crochet pillow designs have really crossed my mind lately and crossed my feed. And I'm sure that you guys have seen this before. This is the Wisteria Pillow by On Planet Beck. 
do we see this to me again this is a very simple very beginner friendly pattern but something about it is so insanely unique. I don't know how she thought of this, but I love it. And upon scrolling through on Planet Beck's Instagram page, they have posted so many different variations of the Wisteria pillow, but these are so stunning. Imagine this in a couple different sizes on your bed or on your couch. In this photo, I believe that they use like a very fluffy mohair type of fiber. But if you guys want, you could just use cotton, you could use acrylic, or you could even use a little mashup of all three. Do a few rows with the acrylic, a few rows with cotton, and then every few rows throw in like a stripe of mohair. You could also make this solid color or very, very stripey, very, very, <laughs> I can't talk today. Very eclectic and colorful. So this is definitely at the top of my to-do list. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and I definitely need to make this. Of course, sticking with the crochet pillow theme, this next design totally caught my eye. And ever since I saw it on Etsy, my mind has just been running wild with a bunch of different designs that I could do for my home. As you all know, I recently moved and since we have this whole new space to ourselves, I told Jordan that I really wanted to deck out the entire house with crochet crochet everything, crochet covers, crochet pillows, crochet blankets, wall art, lamps. If you guys saw my latest video, I'm gonna leave it here, go check it out. There were so many ideas. And this is another one that is at the very top of my list. So this is the Babsy Boho Crochet Pillow by Gypsy Queen Von Tanya. What I really like about this design is that you could just take the basic rounded shape and crochet that and even add that little bit of a scalloped or wavy border. But if you guys want to excel and go above and beyond, crochet the little flower shapes on top in a bunch of different colors. This would be a really cool project to do with just like two colors, black and white, and then maybe like something else like a neon green for a pop of color. So simple again, very, very beginner friendly, but adding in those little crochet motifs is really gonna step it up. And it's kind of up to you. Take this inspiration and expand upon it. Again, you could take that pillow shape. And then if you guys want, crochet some like little stars or hearts or even just like really funky asymmetrical shapes and then sew them onto the pillow. You're gonna have a stunning, stunning home decor piece in no time. The next category that I have for you all is knitted clothing and knitted garments. Y'all know that I am primarily a crocheter. I've been crocheting for almost 20 years now, which is kind of crazy. But in the last few years, I have been dabbling a little bit more into knitting and I can't explain to you what it is for me, but the look and the outcome of a knitted garment is just so drastically different from crochet. I always get a ton of comments and DMs from people asking me to do more knitted tutorials. If you guys are looking for very easy and beginner friendly knitted patterns, this segment is all for you. The very first pattern that I have found is the Thea Top by Paula Strict. This is so gorgeous. It's gonna be perfect for summer or spring. We love a basic tank and something like this. It's very flattering because it's not super form fitting. From what I can see in the photos, it is a little bit more form fitting up at the shoulder section, but then as it kind of goes over your chest area and your stomach, it is a little bit more casual fit. So very, very simple to style. This looks so easy to make. And again, all my beginner knitters out there, I would definitely say to go check this one out. I did take a moment to read the reviews on Etsy and everybody gave it five stars. Nobody had anything negative to say. So if you guys are looking for like your first ever knitted project, this is definitely going to be something that you guys could make. To me, it kind of just looks like stockinette all over the body with very simple ribbing at the base of the tank top and then some ribbing along the armholes and the necklines. But again, you have that scoop neckline, so you're showing off a little bit more of the decolletage. And although this designer made it in a solid color, again, if y'all are crazy like me, use your mohair, use your crazy rainbow colors. So many ways that you guys can make this tank and it's gonna come out gorgeous however you guys make it. Next up also from Paula Strict is their Sonia shirt. Now this is kind of similar to the Thea Chop, but with a little bit of a spin on it. Obviously you do have more of a longer like mid length sleeve, but the shining moment with this top is the more bat wing style. So as you'll notice underneath her arms, there is a lot more of a loose fit, which I believe is what they call a bat wing. 
This design looks so elegant and so elevated. It looks like you could wear something like this to a ceremony, to a graduation, even to a wedding if you were to pair it with the right bottoms or the right skirt. And if you guys haven't done it yet already, I also have a Discord that you guys could join. Link for the Discord is also gonna be down below in the description. And for the very last knitting pattern recommendation, I stumbled upon this cozy top knitting pattern by Morka Knit over on Etsy. This was also very highly rated. I believe it was a best seller. This year, I think I'm trying to get a little bit more into more form-fitting clothing. I really have been loving tops that fit me a little bit more snugly and tops that kind of show off and accentuate my femininity a little bit more. And this top would be perfect. From what I can tell in the photo, there is a little bit of like a ribbed like one by one or two by two ribbing at the base of the top. And then everything else is very, very bodycon and form fitting. But again, the great thing with knitting is that it's super stretchy. I'm also a really big fan of cap sleeves and I would have to think that with a pattern like this, it's gonna be very easily adaptable. So depending on how long you want this top or how long or short you guys want the sleeves, it's gonna be very easy to kind of like adapt it to your own style. I'm also really digging more of like this very low scoop neck cut. I'm really itching to make this design, but with some of my variegated hand dyed yarns. So maybe even something like this that I just recently dyed up. This is actually gonna be one of the new colorways that I have for my March collection. And with this like very subtle wash of like sea foam green everywhere, and then like a little bit of like variegation and speckles, this would adapt and just blend so greatly into a top like this. So it's not gonna be too basic. Like you're taking a very easy everyday design, but then you can totally change up the pattern and the overall look by using completely different colors. All right guys, let's take a quick little break from the content to talk about today's video sponsor, Craftsy. If you guys are obsessed with crochet, knitting, pretty much everything, arts and crafts, then this portion is for you. <laughs> Craftsy is an online community for DIYers, crafters, and makers where you can advance your skills and discover a new hobby. They have over 2,000 classes in topics like knitting, crochet, weaving, jewelry making, woodworking, so much more. Their classes include a step-by-step -step instruction format along with downloadable resources to help make learning a breeze. Now get a load of this. You're gonna wanna hear this part. If you've been interested in learning how to dye your own yarn, they actually have a professional yarn dyeing at home class taught by Sarah Eyre. I'm a self-taught indie dyer, so let's be real. My knowledge can be a little bit limited. So I love that I can watch another artist's yarn dyeing process and then I can pick up new techniques to help hone my own craft. If you're interested in checking them out, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a full year of premium Craftsy membership for $1.49. Yeah, you heard me right, but I'll say it again, $1.49 for an entire year. Feel free to check out Craftsy and let me know down below in the comments which classes you're interested on in taking. Let's go ahead and hop on over into the crochet pattern recommendations. Any of these patterns would be really great for any advanced beginner and upwards. So let's go ahead and start with the very first item, which is the 70s cardigan crochet pattern by Earth by Morgue. I first saw this actually over on Instagram and seeing all the different pattern testers versions is what sold me. Kind of going back to more of the, the casual fit, it's not super tight on their body, but I love the style of this. You're kind of taking something very basic and simple like a crochet cardigan. You're throwing in a little bit of like that meshy see-through design, but then the elevated part of this pattern is the little diamond pattern that they have, as well as the option to add in the tassels at the bottom of the cardigan. This is so gorgeous. I don't have any other words for this. On top of that, we also really love that slight bell sleeve effect that it's giving off. Now for this next crochet pattern, I feel like this one went viral. I saw it everywhere. I saw it on Instagram, I saw it on Etsy, and I even saw people making it here on YouTube. This is the Relaxagon shirt crochet pattern by Carolyn. Excuse me if I butcher this, Carolyn Zuschlag. Y'all know I love unisex clothing. Something like this pattern can be so easily adapted to fit any body shape and any size. So whether you guys want a short sleeve, a cap sleeve, or even full length sleeves, I'm pretty sure I've seen people make this version a hundred different ways. And of course, if you guys are looking for that more unisex fit, 
crochet on a ton of rows, keep adding them on until they're like full, full length. I'm also pretty sure that with this design, it's primarily made with two separate panels that are sewn together. Now, if you guys don't live under a rock and you guys are on Instagram, I'm pretty sure that we've all seen the Skyra Skort. We need to just give this a moment here on the channel because I, I've been keeping my eye on this pattern for quite a minute now and it has got to be one of the most intentionally thought out crochet designs that I've seen in a minute. So the Skyra Skort is by Crochet Corner PH. Already right off the bat, I would have to say that you guys need to go purchase this pattern immediately for the spring and the summer months. This couldn't get any better. Now, when I first saw this on Instagram, I actually thought that it was just a skirt. These are actually a pair of crochet, this is actually a pair of crochet shorts with a little bit of the skirt layered and crocheted on top of it. I saw a ton of the testers use mohair for the little skirt layering piece, which adds like this design element of like flowy, wavy ruffles. Something like this, it doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look too tight or unbreathable. Now the next crochet pattern that I've been really obsessed with is the Jebel Button Up by Handmade Hannah Louise. This top is really unique in itself because you can't quite tell if it's crochet or knitted. To be honest, when I first saw this pattern, I thought it was a knitted style. And then even then I was like, maybe it's Tunisian crochet. Again, we love the unisex fit. So it's very casual, kind of oversized. But then they also took the time to add in that little bit of a collar, the polo neckline, which I am uh, obsessed with. I love them so much. Something about it just kind of screams unisex. The collar, the collar is like the chef's kiss. It's like the finishing touch, the little extra salt sprinkle at the very end to give your shirt that pizzazz. And then I'm also a sucker for like button ups. So check out the Jebel button up. Now the next crochet pattern and design that I came across on Instagram is this like heart cardigan. It's kind of more of a layering piece just because it is so, so short. I personally wouldn't want to wear this just on its own, but the way that the designer has styled it with her other outfits is so, it's like very romantic and chic and very like flirty and fun. And for spring, that is definitely what I'm trying to channel. So this heart cardi is made by Hooked on Alyssa. It's a little meshy. It's a little bit sheer. It's very, very lightweight. And again, I love this as a layering piece. You could wear this cardigan with like skirts, with denim shorts. You could even wear this more towards like the fall months when you have like bell bottom pants. So I feel like even a beginner could make this in like two to three days max. Now I think I found these over on Ravelry. So if you guys want, they might be available on Etsy as well. The first thing that I found is the Palmar Pullover by Rachel Misner. I'm pretty sure that she also goes by Evelyn and Peter and she's got hundreds, and I mean hundreds of crochet patterns. This Palmar Pullover is kind of giving me like vibes of this top. It's very meshy, very, very sheer and see-through. So for me, it's kind of screaming like beach pullover, beach layering piece. So whether you guys want something very oversized and baggy like she has in the photos, or if you guys want to adapt it and make it like a cropped little version, imagine like short sleeve, cropped. The next crochet pattern that I stumbled across is the Rumors Vest by Iron Lamb. This pattern is pretty opaque. This one is also very like romantic and flirty and feminine because you've got the v-neck design and then you've got like a shell design for the straps and a little lace-up center for the top. This is just screaming screaming spring to me, but this would look gorgeous with a pair of straight leg jeans. And for our very last crochet pattern inspiration, I also found the Granny Square Button Front Top by Selena Baca. This is also on Ravelry. Now this design also couldn't get any simpler because best guess, it just kind of looks like one big back panel two matching front panels. And then there's not really too much of a neckline design because from the way that it looks in the photos, they just kind of folded down the open section of the top. The granny square button top is also kind of giving me relaxagon shirt vibes. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up my 20 patterns on crochet and knitting inspiration. Let me know down below in the comments, what is your favorite design from this video? 
which ones you want to pull inspiration from, which ones you're planning on purchasing. I think I might purchase like two or three of these patterns. Sleepy girl with sunbathing. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and close out today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy these types of videos. I would love to put together more like crochet knitting inspiration with more like very specific categories, kind of like the previous home decor one. Maybe I could also put together a little collection of more advanced patterns. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what a baby. Oh. <laughs> Look at your little Grinch toes. <laughs>